All right, guys, so real quick, I'm going to be talking about the NFL draft. Um, sorry for the dark. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in my car right now, so sorry about that. But where do I think we should go? I think we should get C.D. Lamb, not with the eighth pick, but I think we should trade back to 9, 10, 11, or 12th. Um, because I want to stay ahead of the San Francisco 49ers, which I think stay at number 13 right now. Um, but I think that we can definitely still get C.D. before the Niners at 9, 10, 11, 12th. So I'm going to recommend that we actually trade back. If, if, if Isaiah Simmons is there, I think we take him at 8. If not, we trade back and then try to get C.D. Lamb um, at 10 or 11 and try to get a few extra picks in later rounds. Um, so I think that's definitely the strategy. I'm honestly not opposed to just grabbing him at 8. I think that's also definitely an acceptable move. Um, but just making sure we get C.D. Lamb because, to be honest with you guys, like Larry Fitzgerald's got a maximum of – two years i mean three three years would be like maybe less than one percent chance of that happening even an extra year after this year i think is probably 50 50 um so larry fitzgerald's two one foot out the door um so i think that we got to secure cd lamb for the future who knows if deandre hopkins even pans out or if he's just here for maybe two or three years um so i think either way even if deandre does pan out and he signs a long-term deal, I still think that C.D. Lamb would be just, that would just be a dangerous, like, just, that that duo would rule the league for the next half decade, and then you throw in Christian Kirk, then suddenly we have the best wide receiver core of all time in DeAndre Hopkins, C.D. Lamb, Christian Kirk, Larry Fitzgerald, not to mention that we have Andy Isabella, Keyshawn Johnson, and Akeem Butler coming up, um, and then you throw in Dan Arnold in there, uh, and I think we re-signed Max Williams. It's just that's just a great team. And then not to mention Kenyon Drake and Chase Edmonds. Another just I think that's not even much of a duo. It's just Kenyon Drake is just a beast. And so like you can say go offensive lineman, but like you don't even need it. Like those guys are going to create separation much faster. And we also had a decent O line last year. If you looked at the film, like a lot of those sacks were on Kyler. So when he makes the year two jump. Uh, and then our line just stays the same. Maybe it's a little better with the Marcus Gilbert signing, and maybe we pick up a guy in round three or something. Um, I think this team's looking really good because uh, let's look at it. Let's say you run a four wide receiver set. You got Larry Fitzgerald, DeAndre Hopkins on one side, and then you put C.D. Lamb and Christian Kirk on the other side, and then you also have so like okay, yeah, what what team in the NFL can guard those four wide receivers? Literally none of them. Okay, and then even if they somehow do manage to do it and the line starts collapsing, guess what? Kyler's got his legs, too. So, like, that's literally five options. It's just a deadly team. So I think that we secure C.D. Lamb. We try to make a Super Bowl run this year. Um, and if you're saying that, oh, we're not in a position to win the Super Bowl, okay, then we should definitely secure C.D. Lamb um, so that we have our wide receiver of the future because Larry's going to retire. So either way, C.D. Lamb's the move. Uh, I disagree with anyone that says he's not. Uh, I don't I don't know how many people see, are going to see this video, but definitely leave a comment if you are um, on what where you think we should go with the pick but that's gonna do it for this one guys see you in the next one peace